And today, I'm going to show you how to play Stray, not just in VR, but in first-person VR, because every mod I've seen up to now, well, what I've seen on YouTube, you're not actually in first-person, because there's no first-person option in the game. You're kind of just floating over the, the head of the cat. You, you haven't possessed the cat. But I was going to say you're not inside the cat, but that just didn't sound right. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first and foremost, I'm going to show you how to turn this game into a first person, well, give this game a first person perspective. I'm just going to close this down a minute. And the first place you're going to have to go, well, the first thing you're going to need is this dandy little thing called Vortex. We'll close that and I'll show you where to get that from. Now, all the links will be uh, in the description of the video. We'll go to the first link first which is this vortex download this read all this and install it okay so once you've installed it and you've also you've got the game straight it's only about 15 pounds what's that about 20 dollars you will have this once it's installed now what you need to do i'm going to lift my headset up now is type in here the game that you're looking for as you can see i've already got these games but i need straight There. It's enter. Oh, there it is. There's stray. And I'm going to click on manage. And it's going to come up and say this. And there it is. No mods active at the moment. But now I'm going to just close that down. I'm not going to shut it down completely. I'm just going to minimize it. And the next place we're going to go, which will be the second link in the game description is here first person mod and now because you've got vortex installed all you have to do is double click on this and it will take you to here and we'll, we don't want to pay we'll go to slow download take five seconds it's not long is it and the download will start so uh, yeah, you'll get this. It already exists. It doesn't matter. Continue. And it's going to ask you which one of these you want installing. You want them all installing. So install all. Deploy. Elevate. There, one more active. That should be it. Is that it? That is it. So we'll close this down. And now, oh, and we'll close that. We don't want that. Now you have to go, if you want this in VR, I'm using uh, Luke Ross. I pay him £8.50 every month. That's uh, just a little, about just over $10, is it that? It's well worth it. Just pay it once. It's just an extra $10. If you want to play it in VR. And there's other, I'm sure you can find other mods out there, but this is the one I'm using. That's where you're going to have to go. I'm very sorry about it being behind a paywall. That's not my fault. But I think it does some good work. So I'm on what's considered to be just above minimum wage in the UK. So I'm not on a lot of money, but I can afford that. And you you get more than one mod. I'll, I'll put a list of the mods that you get. I think there's about six of them. In fact, I'll show you a list of the mods that you get. Let's uh, close all this down now because we don't need any of that. I'll show you a list. The Zero Dawn, Cyberpunk, Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Final Fantasy, Ghost Wire, Ghost Runner and Stray. All for just $10. Let me just lift my headset up. Now what we're going to do is turn Stray into a virtual reality game. And for that, I'm just going to get this mod out. So that's the latest one. I'm going to put that there for convenience. I'm going to go into my Steam library. I'm going to go over to Stray. I'm going to right click. I'm going to sc scroll to manage. Then I'm going to browse local files. And there we are, local files. Again, I'm going to close this down just for convenience. Now, what you don't do, 
and a lot of people will do, is drag that into here. What you have to do is go to HK project, uh, project, sorry, not project, binaries, and then Win64. And there it is. You just drag it over into there, drop it there, and then right click on it and select extract here. And it will extract it there. Now all you have to do is click on real config. And this will come up, just lift my headset again. Select yes. And look, it's done all that automatically. I'm just going to press continue on my keyboard. You don't have to worry about anything. And that's it, that's done. Now, we should get this in wonderful virtual reality. Let's see. I'm going to start a new game. Because I've run this game, you've got to run the game at least once first. That. And what you'll get is this. Start you game. Uh, well, it won't let me select. We'll just have to start from here. I'm going to clear that. Okay. Next. New game. Start game. There you go. That was easy. And this apparently is all about being a cat and getting lost from all your cat friends. And look how beautiful it is. Wow. Look at that moon up there. Hello. That's probably a boy, but it's a little interesting fact here. Ginger cats are more than usually boys. Not all the time, but nine times out of ten, if you see a ginger cat, like that one for instance, it's a boy. So I'm a boy cat. Look, I'm that cat there. Hopefully it's going to go into first person. Oh, there we are. Isn't that wonderful? Let's just have a look around here. Ooh. Now the clever thing about this mod is that sometimes it's much better if you're in a third person for when you're jumping and this will automatically bring you out of first person into third person when you need to be in third person. Isn't that clever? Look at that. So let's do some ass uh, sniffing now because that's what cats do. Let's start with this one. Hello. If you look to one side there I am. Isn't that weird? That's nice. The game doesn't really start until you get lost from your friends. And I don't want to spoil anything. I'm just going to do this little bit here. Oh. That's brilliant. So we're just... These are my friends. Oops, sorry. Didn't right in my way then. Just scented me. Let's have another sniff here. Hello. You're licking, you're not licking me. I wish it'd stop raining. Is that it? Yeah, so they've all gone to sleep, and I should have to go to sleep as well. So let's go to sleep. And it'll go all dark now. So that's how you do it. Wasn't that a piece of piss? I up first thing in the morning now. I've got no control now. Look, a butterfly suspended in mid-air. Let's hope that starts moving again, otherwise we're in trouble. There you go. It has started to move. Oh. So this is a, a cut scene. I can't move. But if I wanted to bring that uh, menu up, all I have to do is press pause. There, there's the menu and you can mess about with that as much as you want but I suggest my advice is just leave it the hell alone because you don't know what you're doing I don't know what I'm doing so just leave it alone it's fine there. and this is much better than crappy third person so even if you haven't got an headset, you can still play this in pancake mode. 
and that's what I call flat games, pancake. I like pancakes, don't you? They're nice. So, they're delicious, they are pancakes. So that's how you do it. Any minute now, I will be, uh, I will possess that cat there, that, that ginger one. Any minute now. That water's filthy. This place is very nice. And the rain stopped, that's always a good thing. Here we go. Oh. And uh, that is brilliant. And I can meow. That's me meowing. See, and they all meow back. We can run over here. So I haven't been uh, separate from my friends yet. This little bit of the game is a, a tiny little tutorial. Telling you how to jump and meow. See, look. And how to jump. Press X to jump. Yeah, and another thing. It's a, it's a game controller I'm using. I think it's much better than using move controllers, but you can't use move controllers anyway, so I would say that. Isn't this fantastic? Look at that. We go up here. I think I have to go anywhere. Jump. Yeah. There they Just make sure my friends have come with me. Now, there's nothing wrong with the uh, images I can see. I've noticed when I'm playing videos back sometimes that when I do this, there's all kinds of lines appear on the, on the image. I don't get that. I don't see that. Only you see that in the recording. I don't see it. Look at that. Wow. Definitely recommend getting this game just for the experience of being a cat. I'm more of a dog person myself, although I have owned a couple of cats. They tend to get squashed by cars. I don't know what that is about cats, why they like getting squashed. Hello. They just do. They, they seem to love it. Oh, it looks like if another cat comes behind you, you automatically turn around. I don't know what that's about. Let's climb up here. Wow. Oh, we'll just do that. I need to do that when I'm jumping. Just keep your finger down. Isn't that good? Weren't that brilliant? I enjoyed that. Anyway, I'm going now because I need something to eat. And I want to get stoned. <sighs> so. I'm not going to show you how you get separated from your friends because that's just spoiling things. I'm going. Bye.